April 30th, 2023 marked another historic day for SpaceX with a milestone achievement when the Falcon Heavy rocket took off for what was its sixth ever launch. The Falcon Heavy finally roared to space in a dazzling display, carrying a trio of satellites that may change the global communication network and space exploration as we know it. In this video, we will delve into the intricacies of the Falcon Heavy's launch and discuss what made this mission a massive victory for space exploration, followed by the recently launched Transporter 7 and details on the upcoming Axiom 2 crewed mission. After being delayed due to pesky weather conditions and a last-minute abort on April 28th, the Falcon Heavy finally lifted off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida in a highly anticipated event. The main objective of the Falcon Heavy mission was to transport a payload of three satellites to a geostationary orbit around Earth, situated at approximately 22,200 miles, 35,700 kilometers, above the planet's surface. The primary cargo on board the Falcon Heavy was the VSA. At three Americas, a 14,000 pound, 6,400 kilograms broadband satellite that will be operated by Viasat, a California based company. The Viasat 3 Americas is one of three satellites in a constellation that will improve internet network coverage and capacity. It is expected to be the world's highest capacity satellite and is the largest all electric satellite ever made. In addition to the Viasat 3 Americas, the Falcon Heavy carried two other communication satellites, namely the Arcturus and G Space One. GS1. The Arcturus communications craft, a small satellite, will supply data to Alaska and nearby regions. Weighing in at just 660 pounds, it boasts a data throughput of up to 7.5 gigs per second, making it a powerful tool that will improve the quality of life for the people of Alaska and the surrounding region. The Arcturus is operated by San Francisco-based Astronus Space Technologies and is set to make a big impact in the world of satellite communication. Meanwhile, the GS-1, an even smaller satellite, will provide communications for Internet of Things (IoT) applications. Designed by Gravity Space, the GS-1 spacecraft boasts three wideband frequency bands as well as an imaging system capable of capturing stunning images of both the Earth and spatial bodies. The spacecraft is also carrying an experimental rendezvous and docking payload, which could have groundbreaking implications for future space missions. However, launching the satellites into orbit was only part of the mission's challenge. The payload must also be safely deployed into orbit using a technique that is equally dramatic, albeit less fiery than the launch. The Falcon Heavy's journey was documented in a breathtaking video that showcased the separation of the rocket's stages as viewed from space. The Falcon Heavy has been making waves in the world of space technology since its debut in February 2018. You might remember it for its unforgettable test flight that sent Elon Musk's red Tesla Roadster hurtling into orbit around the sun with a spacesuit-clad mannequin named Starman at the wheel. Since then, the Falcon Heavy has been making history with every launch, including this year's USS F-67 mission for the U.S. Space Force. With its power and versatility, this rocket is quickly becoming a staple of the space industry. For over five years, the Falcon Heavy has been the most powerful rocket in SpaceX's arsenal. However, the company's massive Starship spacecraft now holds that distinction following its recent liftoff on April 20th. The test flight, which reached a peak altitude of 24 miles 39 kilometers, was terminated high above the Gulf of Mexico. According to SpaceX, Starship's 33 first-stage Raptor engines produced 16.7 million pounds of thrust during liftoff. This makes it over three times more powerful than the Falcon Heavy and nearly twice as potent as NASA's Space Launch System. The Falcon Heavy is a mighty machine, but even it has its limits. During this historic mission, none of the three first-stage boosters were recovered. Why? Well, when you're sending three massive satellites to distant geostationary orbit over 22,000 miles away from Earth, it takes a lot of fuel. So much fuel, in fact, that there wasn't enough left over for the boosters to make a safe vertical touchdown back home. It's a small setback for the rocket, but it's worth remembering that the Falcon Heavy has accomplished several amazing feats in its six years of existence. The Falcon Heavy may have lost the title as SpaceX's most powerful rocket, but it remains a crucial part of SpaceX's arsenal as its largest commercial payload delivery system. SpaceX confirmed the triumphant deployment of the satellites via Twitter in the early hours of the launch morning, saying that the mission which took place was lengthy but was ultimately successful.
The three satellites were deployed as scheduled, spaced out over a 13-minute period that commenced approximately four and a half hours after the rocket's liftoff. In addition to the epic Viasat-3 America's mission made possible by the Falcon Heavy, SpaceX has also launched 21 Starlink V-2 satellites as its 25th mission this year. The 21 Starlink V-2 mini satellites were carried into space by the Falcon 9, and it took off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. These new satellites are designed to be more powerful than earlier iterations, featuring electric propulsion systems called hull thrusters that offer over twice the amount of thrust compared to those aboard first-generation Starlink satellites. This increased power will allow for more broadband capacity and help bring Internet access to remote and underserved areas around the world. The launch was a success, with the rocket's first stage landing on the autonomous SpaceX drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean just over eight minutes after liftoff. The landing was within view of a live stream from SpaceX, adding to the excitement of the event. SpaceX already has over 4,000 Starlink satellites in orbit, but that number is expected to greatly increase, with regulatory approval to launch up to 12,000 more and seeking permission to add another 30,000. The company's goal is to create a vast network of internet-providing satellites in space. However, with great power comes great responsibility. The sheer number of satellites has raised concerns among astronomers, who complain that the Starlink crafts are interrupting their science observations. The bright reflections from the satellites can interfere with telescopes, affecting astronomical research and potentially causing long-term damage to scientific progress. Despite the concerns, SpaceX continues to push forward with its Starlink program, aiming to provide Internet access in the farthest corners of the world. Another significant launch that SpaceX has conducted this year is the Transporter 7 launch, which involved the deployment of more than 50 satellites in early April. After a series of weather-related delays, the rocket lifted off at 2.48 a.m. Eastern, with the upper stage reaching orbit just over eight minutes later. The first stage landed back at the launch site, and most of the payload was deployed an hour after liftoff. This mission had some new features, including the use of a shorter nozzle on the rocket's upper stage engine. The shorter nozzle saves money, so SpaceX plans to use it on launches that do not require as much thrust. The landing of the booster was also different, with the booster relying on a single engine for the entry burn and just three for landing. This approach is something SpaceX has used for landings of Falcon Heavy side boosters, but not for the Falcon 9. The launch carried 51 payloads, although SpaceX did not release a full list of the satellites on board. Several companies used the launch to augment their existing constellations of satellites. SpaceX says that the demand for transporter missions remains high, even with the increased prices. Developers of small launch vehicles say that it is difficult to compete with SpaceX, and the transporter model has been attractive for businesses in many ways, mainly due to the reliability and price point that the company offers. The Falcon 9 is one of SpaceX's most reliable rockets, and the company has now launched 23 Falcon 9 missions in 2023 alone. While the Falcon 9 is more of a commercial workforce for SpaceX, the Falcon Heavy is reserved for more payload-intensive missions as it consists of two Falcon 9 boosters that produce more than 5 million pounds of thrust. Looking ahead, the Falcon 9 is sure to have a busy month with several missions on its schedule. Undoubtedly, the most anticipated launch will be the Axiom Mission 2. The Falcon 9 is expected to launch the Crew Dragon capsule on what will be the program's 10th launch with astronauts on board. The commercial mission will fly under management of Axiom Space and commanded by former NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson. Paying passenger John Schaffner will serve as pilot of the mission, while two commercial space flyers from Saudi Arabia, Ali Arkani and Rayana Barnawi, will also accompany them on the approximately 12-day mission to the space station. The Crew Dragon will return to a splashdown at sea off the coast of Florida, while the Falcon 9's first stage booster will land on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. After being previously delayed, the mission is now expected to launch on the 21st of May. And that concludes our SpaceX update for the recent Falcon Heavy mission and other recent launches. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon for the latest in the world of space exploration. See you next time.